Hello, everybody. Welcome to your Talking Pittsburgh Headlines on this Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. I'm Jeremy Crosby. Hope you're having a great day. Glad you're tuned in for your evening headlines. Let's get to it. I'm going to, going to talk about the weather. I know usually I do this only in the mornings, but I'm going to bring it up here. Uh, the weather is going to be great uh, moving through the end of the week, including uh, breezy uh, conditions as well. However, there is an elevated fire weather uh, conditions uh, that uh, we want to talk about given the low relative humidity. Wisconsin DNR has southern Wisconsin in a very high fire danger. Take a look at the map here from uh, Wisconsin uh, DNR uh, showing this uh, in the state of Wisconsin. Do have one county in the high. Uh, but otherwise, uh, we uh, down here in the southern part of the state have very high conditions here for fire. So please, this week, you got to be careful out there. DNR uh, is saying uh, burning permit restrictions and fire danger vary from county to county as significant snow still covers most of the northern part of the state. But uh, wildfires, yeah, could happen pretty easily this week. So please be careful. I've already seen some reports of wildfires uh, that have uh, happened already yesterday. So these fires can spread quickly and do a lot of damage. So let's keep an eye out for that. All right, other news. We've got the police district community meeting, another one coming up. This one is uh, going to be uh, real soon. The police department would like to invite you to the next police district community meeting scheduled for Thursday, April 20th, beginning at 5.30 p.m. The meeting will be held in our North District at the Fairways Clubhouse 2301 Traceway Drive. Pittsburgh Police Department will uh, be sharing information on updates of events and news from the department. You can learn about crime and calls for service trends, learn crime prevention tips, and share your concerns and feedback with the police department. And we'll be recording these and have those available in case you do miss it so you can get the latest information about what's happening in your police district. Kids Building Wisconsin returns to McKee Farms Park in May. Get this on your calendar Saturday, May 20th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Kids Building Wisconsin 2023 is back. And uh, this is for anybody who loves construction, although it's about getting kids interested in building Wisconsin. A uh, fun, free event uh, focuses on getting kids interested in numerous exciting careers available in construction industry sprinkled across beautiful McKee Farms Park in Fitchburg. We have over 50 exhibits uh, run by many construction industry professionals, organization, and local trades. All the exhibits are fun, educational, and interactive. As always, Kids Building Wisconsin uh, is a free event. Again, May 20th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Some activities include boom lift rides, build a toolbox, giant sand pit, big equipment, virtual reality, and so much more. I think kids just love that sand pile. Maybe I do too. Either way, you can register ahead of time for this as they do recommend. And you can do that through the Kids Building Wisconsin website. Remember, we share the links to our stories when we post them up each and every day through our social media platforms. National Car Care Month. Do you know what's happening right now? April is National Car Care Month, and it's time to get your car ready for the spring. Uh, driving uh, those summer road trips, make sure that your tires, brakes, windshield wipers are ready for the rain, and take care of any issues that you may have uh, have occurred or have been ignoring during the winter time. Those brakes grinding a little bit, those tires getting a little bald, whatever the case may be, take the time and uh, definitely get it fixed before summer hits because it seems like we're getting close to that. All right, turning our attention to the Better Business Bureau and alerting you of home improvement scammers that take money and don't complete work. That's right. How does this work? Well, home improvement scammers can start with a knock on the door, a flyer or an ad. The contractor may offer a low price or short uh, time frame. One common hook is when the scammer claims to be working in your neighborhood on another project and has some leftover supplies. Whatever the case, watch for the red flags like they say no to cash only deals, high pressure sales tactics, high upfront payments, handshake deals without a contract, and on site uh, inspections. Uh, they don't want to do any of that. Not all storm chasers are con artists, but enough are, and you should be cautious anytime contractors are in your area after a natural disaster. Have a great day.